All right, back in the kitchen with Gita Bishop making another fun uh, recipe. This also would be another great alternative for something a little healthy for game day, but this is something that you do also for dinner and, and yeah. things like that. For fun, I mean, it's pretty easy, it's healthy. Minus the rice, but you need some carbs. Yeah, yeah, and this is we're using brown rice. So this yeah. is a chicken stir fry mm -hmm. that you say you just one night you just kind of invented it, threw yeah. it together, I just, and it was, it was like, a hit. Yeah, I was like, let me take this stir fry. I was like, garlic always tastes good, um, and I just started putting stuff together. Love it, love yeah. it. So we're gonna start with some olive oil or canola oil, vegetable oil in a in a wok or a big skillet. Then we're gonna do our chicken next, right? Yep, chicken. Okay, all right. So we've got boneless, skinless chicken breast that we're just gonna. Throw in here. I try and when I'm doing stir fry, it's kind of not overcrowd, yeah, so that true. it can get nice and brown. Got yeah. those little pieces. Especially if you're using chicken, you want to make sure to cook it thoroughly. Yeah, right, exactly. All right, so let that hang out. Now you've got some green onions over there. Yes. And then we just went to festival and picked up um, some stir fry vegetables that are already chopped up for us, so they make it easy. And I love using fresh vegetables with stir fries. You know, yeah. uh, that's one of those things. I, you know, stir fries are a great thing to use if you've got leftovers. But more of the leftovers think like that half a red pepper in the in the fridge or that half in right. the celery, not the already cooked vegetables, because then they're going to get mushy. And I mean, like, if yeah. if you don't get a chance, I mean, you can always use the. They, they have frozen yeah. stir fries. Yeah. yeah. This to me tastes better. Yeah, I agree. I'm totally with you. All right, so we're just going to turn these over, get a little color. Careful now. I know, it's hot, but you know, when you give or watch the cooking in Chinese restaurants or even at those takeout places, they, they keep it hot and moving and fun to watch. This it's, is such a quick fix. I was just you know? going to say, it's pretty quick too. I mean, you're just cooking the meat and then after that, you're just mixing everything together. You can add a little bit of um, soy, soy sauce. sauce. Yeah, so it's kind of marinating you it. that. All right. And you like to use quite a bit. I do use quite a bit, yeah. <laughs> and I like, well, I like a lot too. We also got some fresh garlic. Yes. So I'll just give that okay. a chop. We just, we don't even use one of those gadgets. Uh -huh. We just kind of. Learning more and more. Well, one more dish to wash. So half the garlic gets stuck in those anyway. So You're right. Throw the garlic in there. And the fresh garlic, you can, I mean, I know some people use powdered garlic, the garlic powder, whatever. But something about the fresh garlic just gives it a little extra something. I, I like it. Oh. I mean, obviously, if you don't have any fresh garlic, feel free to just use the powdered garlic. But I really like it. It tastes so much better with the fresh one. Okay, now we're going to do our vegetables. Can yep. you throw these all in here? Throw them all in all there. All right. Lots of great vegetables. Onions and peppers, mm -hmm. carrots, celery. A little more soy sauce? Yeah, a little more soy sauce. Now, this is kind of one of your secret ingredients. I wouldn't think to put this in here, but um, you said it really adds some great flavor. Yeah, yeah, the vinegar? Yeah. Just a little bit of vinegar. I mean, I use more than a little bit, but then it gets too sour, so you kind of want to be careful with this. Okay, and this is just white distilled vinegar. Yep. Add that little bit of acid. Maybe one third of a cup. Okay. Not too much. And, and once in a while, if, let's say you do put too much vinegar, just go ahead and throw some brown sugar in there. Okay. And it'll offset that. Good tip. I've had to do that before because, I, like I said, I kind of just made it up. And, um, you know, the first trial was a little um, sour. So I just threw, go, I went ahead and threw in some brown sugar. But if you just use the right amount, you'll be fine. Smells delicious. Yeah. And our green onions, we throw those in there? Yes, let's throw those in there. Like and I think we had three threes, you know, plenty. They're kind of just adding some more vegetables in there. Now, if you really wanted to keep this nice and um, green and gold for the game, yeah. I am a big fan of using green and gold peppers. You know, oh, I think good idea. on the veggie and dip yeah. tray, in the stir fry, in your tacos, in whatever you're serving. And that's fun. Everything's got to be green and gold for tomorrow's big game for sure. So this is looking like it's done. Yeah, and then we just want to put some salt and pepper a little in there. Salt and pepper. Yeah. Oh, that smells good. And then let's just put a little bit more soy sauce. And the, the way I kind of gauge it is the color in there. Uh -huh. You want it to be a little darker. Yeah, that, that looks better. Good. Yep. You get that nice, pretty color down there in the mm. water. Looks 
<laughs> smells good. It smells really good. All right, now we've got a nice big bed of brown or white yep. rice that we're just gonna. You just like you do it at home in like a big bowl, so mm -hmm. it uh, absorbs all those great juices. juices. Yep. Yum. Gita, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Come back anytime. Hi to the hubby and go pack go, huh? Thank you. It's gonna be a great, great weekend. Great game. We'll be back to wrap things up. So stay with us.